everyone it's chaos world here for some updates slash wine and dollies type thing i'm finally back after so long because i have a school break now and things are calm i'm like i'm bored so yeah welcome back <laughs> if you guys are watching this um yeah i've tried to record regularly but it doesn't really happen and also I get camera shy, so I'm like, oh, I don't want them to see my face. Like right now I'm all scrubby and wearing my uh-oh shirt and stuff. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I should dress up to make a video and do makeup and all that. But I, I'm like, no. By the time I put on like makeup and wear proper clothes, I'm too lazy to actually make a video. And I'll be like, I don't even know what I was going to talk about. Last night, I tried to do a wine and dollies, even though... Like, I would do more videos, but they'd have to be at night, which means the lighting will be kind of trashy. So, you guys let me know. Like, I'd put more videos, but they'll be kind of at nightish, and it won't be, like, showcasing anything. It'll mostly be just talking about what I'm doing with my characters and stuff. Um, yeah, because most of my creative juices start flowing at night. So that's when I usually write stuff and do stuff and like it's usually at night during the day I'm just like vampire <laughs> and I uh, just in my bed I'm surprised I woke up early today so there's that um so yeah as I said just let me know if you want more videos but if you get more videos some of them are going to be kind of dark um and then if you want it to be the same, then I'll wait till random daylight time and free time that I'll get to. Also, I kind of clean my room. Um, it's messy again. I don't know how, but I semi-organized it because I had some friends over. And yeah, I kind of cleaned it. So um, I moved. I put on my dolls away because I did not want to scare people. Like if it was just one or two dolls, like I leave Vlad. He's up there. This is usually where my MSGs hang out. But usually I leave Vlad. And Vlad alone, people are like, that is so scary. And I'm like, he's not scary. I love him. And they're like, since, I don't know if you guys saw this, but like, if you saw the photo story, his finger's missing, missing and I kind of incorporated it into the photo story of why it was. But the true story is I went to take him. I was going to visit my sister and she lives a couple cities away. And I brought him, I put him in the suitcase to come with me. And I have no idea. I never dropped him. I wrapped him up. I don't know what happened, but his mail went off. And I looked everywhere, and I could not find it. So yeah, I was supposed to make a video at her house, but things were just so busy that I ended up not happening. So I'm like, so I brought Vlad for nothing, and I broke his nail. And I've been wanting to make a new nail, but I just haven't had the time or the motivation to do it. So I'm like, eh, his story, his nail is just gone. He might get a new one. So there's that. Um, I, I for all oh, for the friends. Um, I told none of my friends about my BJDs. I didn't show one at the time because they were too far. They're all like in their boxes, all stacked up in my closet, and I didn't feel like going in and like trying to take them out at that time. But. She, the person um, is like interested in seeing so I'm like okay so if I can convince them I'll see if I can get their initial reaction on camera so I'll see if that can happen um another thing you're probably looking at I made a little art display because I told you guys to do abstract art and I made a new one ta-da it's that it's not really fancy. It looks better from afar, but I'm not artistic, so yeah. Um, and there's like this one, which I showed before, and then this one. Everyone's favorite is this one, which is that one. That's everyone's usual favorite. Anyways, yeah, there's that. Um, another thing that I've never updated on has to do with my monster high i know it's supposed to be like a bjd chat whatever but just gonna update it so i scratched his face already <laughs> but uh what was doing? Oh, sorry. yeah this is my monster 
I mean, um, Ever After High custom. Um, I think he's from Hunter. Hunter is his Ever After High name or something like that. So this is what he looks like. Um, I got him from Danny Shorts and I forgot. I keep forgetting to put about this, but yeah, she had like a little incident where it seemed like she was being a scammer. And honestly, I was worried, but because just I was really worried. Um, she gave me this first girl, which I did a box opening with you guys before, and I ordered this guy almost immediately after because she showed me what she was working on. And I'm like, I want a boy, and I really like your style. So, like, I, I'm interested for the next guy you work on. So she showed me him before she even posted on her Instagram and was like, are you interested? And I was like, yes. So I bought him. And normally, he, like, when she sent her, she came within, like, a week, two weeks, which is normal for shipping in general in Canada. So... That was normal, but for him, he didn't come, and it was getting to three weeks, and I was getting a little nervous. So, about almost a month, I messaged her on Instagram saying, like, hey, like, do you got some tracking numbers or something about what's going on with this dude? Because she forgot to send me the tracking number for this girl once, and I was like, oh, well, like, she did send it when I asked, like, is she shipped, so it's good. So I just want to double check to make sure everything's okay if I should be checking in with the post office to see. Sometimes the post office is weird and they'll put something in the post office for me. Like this has only happened like twice, but they'll put something in the post office and they won't notify me that something's there. So then I'll just get a final notice saying like, hey, we're going to send your package back. I'm like, what package? So yeah. So I was thinking, like, should I start looking out for a final notice slip, telling them they're going to send him back? So I messaged, and on Instagram, she didn't answer. So I was really, really worried because I'm like, oh no, like, what is happening? Please don't tell me this is happening to me. I do not want to get scammed, please. I really, I just want the doll. <laughs> so um, I saw someone was telling me that her phone was broken. So I'm like, okay, but I need to message her somehow and I don't know how so I think I saw I looked on her page and I saw that she had an email so um, I was about to message her when I saw I think it was Yasmin BJB put a scammer thing on Instagram saying like she scammed her and then I saw other comments saying that they didn't get stuff from her and I was freaking out I was like oh my gosh like why would she scam me now like we actually talked face to face and like she sent me the first doll why would you scam me on the second like yeah so I was really freaked out so I messaged her saying that I was freaked out I don't know what's going on like I'm just in the dark are you like people are saying you're a scammer and I'm freaking out so so she messaged back saying that she is sent she's like already sent him and then he he didn't make it to my house he came they sent him back and I'm like okay that's weird but yeah she said she's gonna send him again with some like stuff and I was like okay so there was that so I waited and I waited maybe like a week and then I messaged again saying like okay so like what's happening I didn't get an answer like, I sent a couple messages, and she didn't answer, so I was really worried again. And then I saw Yasmin post again, saying that, like, she still hasn't done anything. And then I saw, I think it was previous girl say that she did get her stuff. So I had some hope, and I didn't know what was going to happen. then I think another week or two later, um, maybe even longer than that. Like, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm not getting this doll, maybe. I'm not getting this doll. <laughs> and I was just coming to terms with it, and I was actually really sad. And honestly, I was going to get rid of her because every time I looked at her, I kept thinking about getting scammed. So I was like, oh, yeah, I might be selling her because I can't look at her anymore. <laughs> and then I, he came in the mail, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I wasn't super excited when I opened him. That's why I didn't record because I was just turned off about the situation 
and I wasn't really joyful, but then I've had him for a while now, and I forgot I was going to post on my Instagram. I'm still going to do it saying, like, she's not a scammer. She sent me him eventually. Um, I still don't know if that story about him getting sent here and then sent back was true because they do put a final notice in my mailbox before they send something back. So if she just didn't send it, I mean, send it, that's cool. I just, I like to be updated on what's happening. So yeah, that is the little story about this dude. I'll just show you him. I mean, there's better lighting. Up. If I stand up, there's better lighting, but I just don't want to, guys. I'm sorry. You'll see better lighting on my Instagram. So this is Hatch's tattoos. And another one. And there's this, um, there's this scuff. I did that by accident. I could probably draw it back in. I didn't think it would come off that easily. He was supposed to be sprayed a couple times, so I didn't think that it would come off that easily. Like, literally, he, she is the one who scuffed them. I put them together because I was moving them when I was cleaning. And her face, like, touched him or something. And he, like, her lips and scuffed him. And, yeah. And I'm just going to show you her once again. I've been talking a lot about these two. And she's still in the same outfit. I'm going to change her to a summer outfit when it gets warmer. Um... There's also a thing that I've been doing with them story-wise that I've been inspired. I told you her name was Amaris, um, but I wasn't 100% sure. I didn't. I knew well, she was an art student, all that stuff. But uh, the other day, I was just thinking um, a story that I wrote a long time, well, not that long ago, but in high school, I started writing, but I didn't finish because of like stuff that happened in my life that just made me unmotivated. But, and I actually also, sorry, I deleted it, and I felt, I feel so stupid now, because when I looked at the story, when I was, like, at a bad time, I was like, this story is so stupid, and I'm like, I'm never going to finish it, and I was just so stupid for writing it, it's not even good, and I just deleted it. And I'm, now I'm thinking, like, why would I do that? I'm so stupid, I should have just left it alone. <laughs> but eh, it won't be so bad rewriting it, I guess. But the story is about this girl named Zira, which would be her, and an alien named Max, which would be him. So basically the premise of the story, it's a love story, is Max is an alien and he, uh, he didn't have a specific planet, but he was on a journey and his ship ran out of like gas. He crashed a long time ago and he's just been living a life as a human ever since using this potion that... He created to keep his appearance up and he doesn't contact his alien family because if they find out like when they he's he's like my alien family um attack first ask questions later so if i told them i'm here stranded on earth they're just gonna automatically assume the worst and destroy earth and then at the end they'll be like that was my home i was having fun <laughs> so he just doesn't bother um one day, he's just doing his regular high school life, and he runs into this girl and her friend, and she can see past his, like, magical image and see that he's an alien, so she, like, freaks out, and he's like, wait, you can, you can see me? You can, you can see what I really am? And basically, after that, she just, like, harasses him, like, does all this mean stuff to him, but he really likes her. And he just follows her around, tries to get her to like him. And eventually it works. She does actually fall for him. They end up together. And spoiler, at like the end, like they break up at one point because of something. I think something like really stupid. But yeah, and then at the prom where they make up. It's really stereotypical, whatever. The prom, they make up and they're together and whatever. They stay together happily ever after. Yay! <laughs> I like happy endings. Like, I like sad endings, too. But I like happy endings, so. There's that. That is the story of my Monster Highs that I have to start writing again. And if you guys would like, I don't know if you're really interested in them. I want to buy some more Monster Highs. But honestly, as I said, Danny Short's art, she her art was the first 
I've ever liked of Monster High customs. Like, I've seen customs and think, wow, they're very pretty, but I've never had the desire to buy it until I've seen her art. And now that she's MIA, it makes me sad because I want to buy more of her art. I really love it. And it's like, even like the little plaque she got, she's so talented. I just wish that the whole fraud thing didn't happen. And I feel bad for thinking that um, that she might have been a scammer. Even though like I kind of knew better, but at the same time, I didn't know because... I just didn't know people can change. You may think they're one way, but they're actually another. So that's why. So if you see this, I'm sorry about thinking that you might be a scammer. But I did have legit reason for thinking you were a scammer at that point. And I'm really happy you did send it. And I will put on Instagram to say, even though you might not want me to dig up old wounds. Cause that's why I've been a little bit hesitant that like she's not a scammer. <laughs> She was, she was just late and stuff happened. So that was, as I was saying, the end, um, my story. I'll probably post it on Wattpad. Um, also, I've been writing stuff. I've been doing character bios on Wattpad very slowly but surely. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably try to link it below um, my Wattpad. And I'm going to talk more about my actual BJDs in the next video because this is getting way too long. Okay, bye guys.